So the blades are coming out on this pretty good. I wanted to point something out to you. On this head, I have put so many hours on it, so many hours, that I've had to tighten bolts inside the printer head. I've only used one nozzle, one nozzle on this drone, the entire Shrike Ultra, one. It's the first one, it's the one I put on there. It's the only one that has printed this drone. I wanna show you something. It has printed one entire engine, which is several rolls of spools of, actually two and a half or three spools of filament, roughly. It has done one body section already. It has done the entire bottom platform. It's doing blades now. It's done another hub. It has gone through a couple of mistake prints that I had to redo on the one nozzle. Several rolls of print so far. I've got thousands of hours on that printer. But one nozzle so far for this printer. For this for this model it's, itself. We have three more of these engines to go. I've got blades on there. I've got three more body sections, an upper platform, a battery cage, everything else that's going in here. The ESC mounts. All of that. And it's all going to be off of one printer with one nozzle and one filament type, PETG. That's it. And putting that into perspective, you think, well, that, so what? And you think, but, but look at this. That's a functioning engine. You've seen it run if you watch any of the other shorts. Three more. Lights, ESC, motor, the whole nine yards. Three more times. Three more times for this. Oh, lots of work. I'm telling you, but I'm telling it's just amazing that I'm getting this done with one printer. One printer. And one nozzle. And one filament type. That is awesome. That is awesome. And I don't think I could have done this on any other printer except that X1 Carbon. Probably the H2D, but they won't send me one. At least not yet. <laughs> Maybe they will when they see this. All right, back to work.